This is going to be quick and an opinion that not everyone's going to be on board with. So if this video offends you, then I want you to know, genuinely, deep down from within, let me just say, suck a d All right, just kidding. I really do try to make this channel for everyone, but my want to say my opinion about Star Wars and movies in general is why I started the channel in the first place. So here it is. Today's topic. Okay, I know that even this small channel gets the occasional female viewer, and I know that Star Wars is for everyone. But I'm really starting to think that this opinion that Star Wars is for dudes isn't so controversial as it may seem. I mean, today's anti-Disney YouTube channels spend an awful amount of time trying to convince viewers that they are sick of strong female characters, while trying to equally say that they don't have a problem with strong female characters. I mean, I really do get what they're trying to say, but I don't think that it's fully honest, or at least that it doesn't go the distance as far as opinions are concerned. Most of the time, bros don't want to watch movies where women are the heroes. I think that's just plain as day. I am a man. Look, I love Leia Organa, Sarah Connor, and even Marion just as much as the next guy, but I prefer Luke Skywalker, Kyle Reese, and Indiana Jones as heroes over their counterparts because I identify better with male leads than I do female leads. Now, you might be asking yourself, or the screen that you're watching this on, why is it so important? Why even bring it up? Well, to better understand why, then it's important to know a little bit about archetypes. Portrayed on screen, archetypes are typically the perfect version of a person or a personality. Luke is the standard hero in the more Greek or Jungian understanding of the archetype, and Han and Lando are the outlaw archetypes. As another example, these archetypes are what help viewers to enjoy the movie more because they want to be those characters. Like it or not, it's hard for guys to identify with female leads. The reason is twofold. On the one hand, heroes in a heroic story often involve dangerous situations and violent interactions. This is not something that women often do in the real world. If real life job choices, violent crime statistics, and military recruitment numbers are any indication, then it would seem that women, on average, try to avoid these very things. So, making movies and shows about women doing these aggressive things is already going against the grain, so to speak. And on the other hand, in order to make a strong female hero believable, they have to be strong in their own right in situations that are more believably feminine. Women are not stronger than men on average, and it's starting to get pretty silly how women are better at everything than men are, including fighting. It breaks the illusion of the story, and it often ruins the character that's Mary suing up all the scenes that she's in. Now, some of you watching might already agree with me, and some of you might already be writing in the comments to let me know how wrong I am. Look, more power to you. But I make this point for a reason. Star Wars is a male domain. It always has been. I mean, just go to a convention. Seriously, it's all dudes. Of course, there are exceptions to the rule, and there are women that love Star Wars. You are all rare treasures, I assure you. But Star Wars has always been a male-dominated space. And that's important because just on its merits, Star Wars with female leads has a selling problem to its own audience. From the time that we're little boys playing with our lightsabers we got on our fifth birthday, we imagine ourselves as the hero or the villain. But that's always been a male character. I mean, there are a lot of lore-breaking, man-hating parts of the sequel trilogy, but right off the bat, the story has a female lead, and that's going to cause at least some problems in the merchandise sales. I guess what I'm saying is that Star Wars is for everyone, I really do believe that, but it does involve the hero's journey as its foundation, which is normally a male-dominated space, and not because of the patriarchy or some idiocy like that, but because men are interested in the traditional hero's journey more than women are. On a personal note, I've been married a long time. I've been around the world, I've met tens of thousands of people, and I've worked in many different sectors, both private and government, and I can say with full confidence that most girls just don't like Star Wars outside of the entertainment that they might glean from a one-time viewing. I mean, why do you think that Barbie is doing so well in the box office despite the obvious agenda that's planted in the movie? Because it's a movie where girls are acting like girls, dressing like girls, and using a brand of comedy that is funny for, guess what? girls. You could say all you want how bigoted that sounds, but the ticket sales aren't by accident. Girls like movies where the hero is acting how they want to act. Crazy, right? How many more Disney remakes need to flop where the women don't need a man to save them like their predecessor did before Disney realizes that not even women want to watch these movies? Now, I'm not saying that Ahsoka is doomed from the start, but I am saying that it's a far more uphill battle than perhaps people understand. I love the character Ahsoka. I really do. She's one of my favorite Jedi, and I genuinely believe that she deserves her own show. However, 
with a constant berating of strong female characters muscling their way in to show all the men how it's done, I think that even if Ahsoka is a good show, it's coming out at the wrong time to be relevant. Dave has an uphill battle, and with bullshit like this happening right out of the gate, I'm worried it might already be a lost cause. If Disney had the balls to make a true hero's journey, with men as the leads, and genuine tragedy and serious stakes were on the table, and the show was taken seriously, not as a parody of itself, then it would be the most watched show on Disney+. Plus. Disney, and all media for that matter, needs to stop making movies and shows that are based on the exception rather than the rule. Most girls and women are not going to buy two Ray toys, one to open and one to keep in the box, so why does Disney and Kennedy keep making movies for a demographic that isn't interested in Star Wars while alienating a demographic that is? It seriously makes no sense. Anyway, tell me what you think in the comments. Who is your favorite Star Wars character from Legends to Canon? I really want to know. I'm the Jermexican, and I hope I've earned your subscription today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.